to start off this makeup look I am taking my Becca bronzing skin perfector and using this as my primer it's gonna give your skin a lot of warmth if you're like me and your face is lighter than your body it's really gonna help your foundation look a lot better on your skin as if it were to match your face better for my foundation, I'm using my favorite right now, which is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I'm using the shade number 6 Ginger, and the foundation brush I'm using is from BH Cosmetics. I will list the kit I got it from down below. It's a really great everyday foundation brush kit, um, and it's a really great value. I think it's just under $20. So I'm just using a couple dots of my Complexion Rescue and buffing that in with the brush. For concealer, I'm using one of my recent favorites, which is the MAC Select Cover Up. You guys know I've probably used this in my past like three tutorials. Really great summer concealer. It gives perfect coverage, does not crease on you, and it's very lightweight. It doesn't make your under eye look dry or wrinkly. It's just a really great multi-purpose concealer. Another product I am so obsessed with recently is this Paracone MD No Bronzer Bronzer. As you can see, it is so good. I just absolutely loved it. I've already used it in a couple videos, and I'm using that again on an angled BH Cosmetics foundation brush, and I'm just buffing that into my skin. This bronzer gives your skin the most natural glow, just the perfect bronze look. I just cannot say enough good things about this. It's so easy and seamless to work with and I think anyone would love this, especially for the summertime when you want that golden glow. Just to set my face a little bit, I'm taking the Lorac Porefection Powder. This is a really great baked powder that is going to give you light coverage, but also a reflective appearance. So it's not going to make you look totally matte. It gives you a little bit of a sheen or a little bit of a glow. To further warm up my skin, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Give Me Sun, and I'm just going to go over the areas I've already bronzed. I think my face needed just a little bit more bronzer just to give me a little bit more life, and I'm using the Target Up and Up Powder Brush to apply this. For blush, I'm using one that I kind of keep stashed away. I don't use it very often. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Diffused Heat. It's a really pretty coral color. I mean, if you like corals, you will love this shade. It's very vibrant. I'm not the biggest fan of peachy and coral tones, but I wanted to go outside of my comfort zone, and I knew that this blush would be perfect for that. For the highlight, I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Just kind of whatever you've got laying around, pick up whatever your favorite highlighter is. Sometimes I like to use the Mary Luminizer from the Balm. This is just the one I had laying close to me. To prep my eyes, I'm taking Max Paint Pot in the shade Indian Wood. It's a really beautiful kind of bronze golden color. If you don't have this paint pot, you could opt for one of the Maybelline color tattoos. Um, the Barely Bronze, I think is what it's called. That one would be really similar, or I think they also have a gold one. Either of those will work. We're just using this as a base. Then I'm going in with my Bare Minerals Sexy Neutrals palette. I absolutely love this shade and this palette in general. I'm using the really pretty bronze golden shade. I will have the names listed down below for you guys. Um, and I'm just tapping that on top of the Indian Wood Paint Pot. This combination will seriously make your eyes look so beautiful and golden. If you love bronzy golden shades, you're going to love this combo. And I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and diffusing the edges so I don't have any harsh lines running through my crease. Then 
I'm picking up my second favorite color in the palette, which is this really rich chocolate brown color. It's almost a black shade, and I'm just taking that on a Morphe brush. It's very similar to the 217. I'll have the number listed down below, and I'm just blending that on the outer edge of my eye just to give it a little bit more of a smokier appearance. I love the way that these um, golden shadows and that rich brown color uh, mix together. It's just absolutely one of my favorite looks recently and I think it's so appropriate for summertime. Then I am taking the Butter London Winked Eye Pencil in the shade Twigged. This is a gorgeous metallic bronze eyeliner and I'm just tight lining with that and also applying some to my lower lash line. I'm not applying any to my top lid. You guys know I have really bad problems with eyeliner transferring onto my lid so I generally avoid that area. And then I'm just taking the excess left over on that brush and smudging out the lower lash line. After that, I just applied my favorite mascara for the moment, which is the Bare Minerals Volumizing Mascara. This is the Flawless Definition Volumizing, and it's just what I have been using recently. I've been trying to stick with one mascara and one mascara only um, until it runs out, and this is the one that I've been using. It's a longtime favorite of mine, and it, I think it does give my lashes really good volume. Not the best for length, but it does make your lashes look really full. Moving on to the lips, I applied the ColourPop Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Button to the edges of my lips. And then I applied the Matching uh, Lippy Stick, I think is what it's called, and it is also called Button. It's a really pretty peachy color. Again, this is outside of my comfort zone, but I really like the way the lip combo turned out. I think it ended up looking pretty good. And to top that off, I'm taking a Mary Kay Lip Gloss in the shade Teddy Bear. Really random, but it looked really pretty. And after that, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, keep in mind that I will have a tutorial up on this hairstyle for those of you who are interested in it um, in the next video to come or it may be before this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!